We might have blue sky back here behind me now, but in 2020 we had some of the worst air quality on record, and that was all set off by over 4 million acres burning in the state, a brand new record. Now, while forest management has come under scrutiny, there's no doubt that warmer years over the past couple of decades has certainly dried out the brush, leading to this cycle of wildfires and then bad air polluting our skies. We know we had a, a record number of air quality alert days. What can you tell us about when it comes to the wildfires, the air quality, and this kind of cycle we seem to be trapped in? For those of us who study climate change, it, it often feels fairly abstract. The wildfire season this year has really brought the reality of climate change home in a way that you know I hadn't personally experienced before. When you wake up in the morning and your car is covered by a layer of ash and the sky is orange outside, you know, it really brings it home. Scientists have found that about half of the increase in area burned we've experienced is due to the change in climate. We used to have more fires in the 1980s than we have today, but most of them were very small. Today we have fewer fires, but when fires do happen, they burn about five times more area. And a lot of that is due to the fact that our vegetation is a lot drier today than it was 40 years ago. Our rainy season is shorter, temperatures are hotter, but certainly we can expect to see days like that in the future as sort of these megafires become the new normal. With the smoke comes a lot of carbon dioxide emissions, and, and carbon dioxide is the biggest cause of climate change. And so as our forests go up in flames, we're actually undoing a lot of the progress that California has made in reducing its emissions. There's a real chance that when all is said is done, the bad air quality this year probably killed more people than wildfires did. Not because it's more dangerous to any individual person, but because it affects so many more people across the entire state. Scientists have estimated that just being outdoors on a bad air quality day in the Bay Area now is the equivalent of smoking half a pack of cigarettes in terms of your health. Even if we could wave a magic wand and get all of our emissions to zero tomorrow, that doesn't bring us back to the climate of the 1980s or the 1970s. If we stop our emissions, the world just stops warming. It doesn't cool back down. And so the best we can hope for is that this is our new normal. And if we reduce emissions, we can keep it from getting worse.